slap, are you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI. This is Shits Creek Season 5, Episode 4, The Dress. Uh, what did we have in the last episode? Uh, it was the... Oh, the plant. Yeah, Stevie and um, Amir, wasn't that the guy's name? I don't know about you yet, Amir. You, you've got good deeds to do before you win my trust. I feel like we're due for a bit of Alexis and Ted. As long as we're not going to get any Alexis and Mutt. I don't know. Mutt, you're a nice guy, Mutt, but stay away from Alexis. She's with Ted now. I want some more Bob. I want some more Twyla. I want some more Jocelyn and her um, struggles with uh, motherhood. <laughs> unfortunately for her. And if you want early access to my Shits Creek reactions, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it for five dollar redos a month. And uh, you can help the channel that way and vote on movie polls and a whole bunch of other stuff. But let's jump into the episode. This is Shits Creek season five, episode four, The Dress. Currently reading magazine from July 1987. Where do you even find these? So I just signed for this. Does that mean I get to keep it? Also, what is it? Oh my god, it's here. Give it some room, Alexis. Give what some room? What exactly are you getting? Oh, Moira, what is going on? Although she got paid for a movie, I guess. Red carpet gown for the Crows premiere. Moira, you didn't tell me they'd oh. set a date for the premiere. Yes, I've been told definitively. This is an expensive fucking dress, isn't it? $3,700? What designer gave you that kind of discount? Sadly, it's not custom this time around, Alexis. Mommy had to shop off the rack. Fortunately, I discovered something <laughs> called the promo code. This is a reduced price? Yeah. Box. Box. Oh, no. I don't like this side of Moira. Come on, Moira. You can be better than this. Are you sure the cherry blossoms are even open now? I mean, I thought that wasn't for another couple. Alright, we're going to a cherry blossom festival? You know who loves cherry blossom festivals? Deadpool. I'm not even joking. You think it makes me less of a man if I came here for the cherry blossom festival, huh? You're laughing with your eyes! I can see it! Why else would we be driving to Elm Valley, Stevie? A um, mirror might be there. <laughs> the hotel reviewer. You at the dirty motel sex with? Well, when you put it that way, it sort of cheapens it, but yes. <laughs> you might also be there. But not the hotel that we're going to, because that would be a crazy coincidence. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, David, you are smashing that licorice down. I don't think we're going to no. go to the Botanical Gardens. Wow, so this is an abduction then. <laughs> Easy there, David. <laughs> What, am I gonna walk around and admire the cherry blossoms alone like some pervert? <laughs> I don't do couches. I got you a separate room. A separate room? Okay. So this wow, Stevie. <laughs> hey, Shannon, what's up? Ted's in his office. You can just let yourself in. Yikes. Okay, thank you. It was a little bit cold, I guess. And she's actually been really helpful this week. To you. What is this? It is so not a thing. But well, when you and I were broken up, there Ted. was one night where Shannon and I. Ted! Oh my god, Ted! <laughs> or at least Alexis. Yes, you is did, you little smoochy monster. By the idea. <laughs> smoochy monster, sexy Susan. She's got the best pet names for him. Uh, I, I stopped it from going any further. Paging Dr. Casanova J. Heartbreaker. Well, thank you for telling me that, Ted. That makes so much more sense than her not liking me. Well, glad that we could clear that up. Okay. All right. Everything cool? Lexus is not harboring some kind of, like, outburst right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> that face is very telling. You know that little hot water problem you're having? Yeah. I did a little negotiating with Terry, and uh, he says you can have it for 4200 4200 Right. Unless you Same. want it installed. <laughs> that seems expensive. Before that silly curtain rod came crashing down. Don't worry about it. We'll get you a new one. As soon as we can get uh, L Tightwad here to loosen up the purse strings. John, give this Roland, man a raise. Roland, just stop. I'm off to get a dehumidifier, but I will see you at lunch. How much did Moira get paid for the crowing? Or well, the crows have eyes? 
The crow's heavy ears? What was it called again? The third one. What time was he supposed to show up anyway? Two hours ago. And we're sure this is the right hotel. Oh, you have a mobile phone. Ring. But if anyone knows how to crawl out from under an embarrassing romantic failure, it's me. So, I say we drop our bags, go straight to the botanical gardens, take in some... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice deflection there, David. The hotel bar has karaoke. I say we get several rounds of polar bear shots, load up some Mariah, and I will spend the rest of the night pretending not to resent you. <laughs> that is a good friend gesture there from David. She's at the wrong hotel or something, isn't she? I've just been pretty busy. Ugh, same. Can I get a hell yeah for two hardworking women in the 21st century? Oh, Alexis, what is that? Anyway, Whoa. I think Ted told me all about your little... And it's like, not a big deal. Is this sincere or hostile as hell? It was just a drunken one-time thing, and I told him we'd be better off as friends. Oh. Uh, oh. After he told you that? Sorry? Alexis! Right on time. You're telling me. I just have oh, some conflicting stories here. Never would have found out that she called it off. Maybe I will go for lunch. <laughs> Smart move. But I assumed that this would play out in a much more interesting way. So for the sake of time, um, I'm just going to go with Shannon's version of things. <laughs> wow, Alexis. The conversation? Oh, it's okay, Ted, because the important thing is that Shan and I had a breakthrough. Yeah, but I'm just not really sure where we landed mm -hmm. on, on the whole... Yeah. Ted, maybe just go with it. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but good work, Alexis. I think. What does Bob think about this? Where's Bob? Who's taking a smoke break? I am. You don't smoke? Yeah, I know, and I don't think I should be penalized for that. <laughs> a way for me to deal with this without pumping more money into it, then that's what I'm going to do. John oh, Johnny, respect, but let's get Terry. How are we feeling? All things considered, I'm feeling better. Good. I'm gonna see if they have more Mariah. The first three songs were just a warm-up. Oh, I see a mirror in the background. A student driver rear-ended me on the way over here. It was a whole thing. He started crying. We had to exchange insurance information. His mom was there. You couldn't have called? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's on a 16-year-old smartphone. I could offer you that. No. Thank you. Mm, I don't know about this. Okay. Good news. They have fantasy, which means that you get to play old dirty bastard. <laughs> oh, are, are you here with someone? No. Oh. Um, oh. Um, no, we just ran into each other at the bar. <laughs> the assessment moment there from David. Dana. Dana. Uh, yeah, so I, ru I run the karaoke at the I... hotel. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Uh, can I still take you to dinner or? These are lies you cannot maintain. I already made you miss the botanical gardens. I can't leave you here. Okay, honestly, I'm going to be really exhausted after my set anyway, so probably just go to bed. Set? How many Mariah have you got teed up there, uh, David? For the next little while, any money coming in uh, should probably be for the family. This dress is for the family to remind us that our futures lie outside this town. Oh, is that how you feel, Moira? For the first time in a long time, you may not need any luck. Oh, John, thank you for that. And know that you've been heard. Good. Moira, I don't think you hear anyone at any point as you continue to use electricity on a dehumidifier. I'm really glad that you and Shannon were able to get everything out in the open. Me too. We're actually grabbing drinks tomorrow. Great, yeah, no, and I, I... Ted, this is bad for you. And Alexis, what are you doing? It seems like it was just like a little miscommunication on your part is all. Yeah, well, uh, Shannon aside. Why are you taking Shannon's side here, Alexis? Going through my phone, you know, to make some space, and then I came across this little back and forth from a while ago. I believe you, Ted. You're still Dr. Casanova. What are you me? trying to prove here, Ted? The tone of your voice makes it seem like you don't believe a word you're saying. Okay, Ted. <laughs> and I really falafel saying this over text. Jesus Christ, Ted, what was that one? And then um, she wrote. Oh, it doesn't matter what she Cool! Wrote. Exclamation mark. And it looks like you ended up 
walking her dog for her. <laughs> Ten. You're too nice. I want you. My cute little butt. Good work, you two. Listen, I just wanted you to know that Stevie told me what you did for her tonight. You know, giving up your evening so that we could have some time. Well done, Stevie. Honest as well. Again. Very honest again. I like it. Okay. Um, what do you say we get up there? Maybe do a little duet? I feel like that's the kind of thing you'd be totally comfortable with, right? Oh, yeah. Love that. Stevie singing karaoke? Okay. Not what I thought we were going to get at the start of this episode. I would like to dedicate this one to the lovers right over there. Okay. Right on the lovers. Um, cue it up. I wanted to see the two of them do... Um... The Girl Is Mine by Michael Jackson, Paul McCartney. Great song. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not a fan of all their furry stuff. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous? Okay. Okay, yeah. Seeing it in full, it looks pretty nice. Before I send her back, take a mental picture. Really? Give me like a... Like an arm. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the shoes we're going with? What do you think? I no, I feel like shoes this later. Is never coming out. As well as jewels. <gasps> what? <laughs> Why do I feel like this one may have been setting up some things for future episodes? I don't know if that means uh, Ted's um, little smoochy floozy is gonna stick around or if it's gonna be more to do with Moira and this red carpet event perhaps. I guess we got a little bit of um, Amir and Stevie in this one as well but I don't know this was an okay episode but it definitely wasn't my favorite one of the season um, so far. I feel like other than Moira getting the dress we kind of just treaded water in this. I guess they did Johnny with the um, the hot water thing as well. I don't know, he had a problem with like money and then in the end he's like, ah, oh, well, it's a good dress, you should keep it. So, I don't know what Moira's doing with the dress. Something about this episode seemed a little bit off, but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you go to patreon.com slash FWCI for early access. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace.